Imagine a storm so fierce that it blankets entire towns in darkness, floods communities, and rips apart everything in its path. This is the reality of hurricanes, one of the most relentless forces in nature. And among these storms, Hurricane Sarah stands out, a monstrous storm that will go down in the history books for its sheer power and unpredictability. With winds over 150 miles per hour, Hurricane Sarah swept across the coastlines, leaving scars on landscapes and lives that may never fully heal. Entire communities were uprooted, and once vibrant neighborhoods became fields of debris. But while Sarah's fury was unstoppable, there are ways to prepare for hurricanes like her, giving you a fighting chance against the rage of the ocean. What is a hurricane? To survive first, you need to understand what you're up against. Hurricanes form over warm ocean waters, typically in tropical regions. They begin as simple thunderstorms. But when conditions are just right, warm seas, high humidity, and low winds, they evolve into organized spinning systems of destruction. Hurricane Sarah, like many others, followed this path, a tropical storm that escalated, feeding on the heat of the ocean until it grew into a Category 5 monster. With its massive eye at the center, Sarah's winds reach speeds that could turn a simple road sign into a deadly missile. But how can we anticipate storms like Sarah? Tracking Hurricanes Meteorologists have become skilled at spotting these storms early, using satellite imagery, Doppler radar, and Hurricane Hunter aircraft to track their path. They can often predict landfall days in advance, but hurricanes are as unpredictable as they are powerful. A shift of a few miles can determine whether you're in the storm's calm eye or its brutal path. Understanding hurricane categories is crucial. Hurricanes are measured on the Saffir-Simpson scale, ranging from Category 1 to Category 5. Each level means stronger winds, more severe flooding, and greater potential for destruction. Category 1 storms cause some damage, while Category 3 storms can rip roofs off buildings. Hurricane Sarah, at Category 5, was at the peak of this scale, a category known to cause catastrophic damage. If you live in a hurricane-prone area, you know the drill, but if you're new, listen carefully. How to stay safe. The most critical step is preparation. Have a hurricane kit ready with essentials like water, non-perishable food, a flashlight, batteries, and a first aid kit. Ensure you have enough supplies for at least a week, as power outages and blocked roads may delay emergency response. When evacuation orders come, do not hesitate. Hurricane Sarah proved that even the most resilient buildings can be tested by nature's fury. Evacuate as early as possible to avoid traffic and seek shelter in safe areas. If staying put is unavoidable, find the most secure room in your home, preferably one with no windows. Myths about hurricanes. A common misconception is that taping your windows will prevent breakage. In reality, it offers little to no protection. Instead, invest in storm shutters or plywood. Another dangerous myth, that the calm in the eye of the hurricane signals the storm's end. In fact, once the eye passes, the storm's fury resumes from the opposite direction often with even greater intensity. Preparation is the best defense. Hurricanes are relentless, but being prepared gives you the best chance of survival. Stay informed, stay ready, and when the time comes, act swiftly. What about you? Have you ever faced a hurricane? Share your story below. If you found this video helpful, like and share it. And remember, there's always something to learn on the powerful side of nature. Click on one of the videos on the screen to explore more incredible content.